So if you guys are anything like me, you're probably coming back from family Christmas this weekend, and there's a good chance that you got a little extra Christmas money under the tree. I mean, after all, what else do you get a mid 20 year old guy who's into trucks other than give him money? Because Lord knows you're not gonna buy him wheels and tires, although you can find those at customoffsets.com. So if you've got a little extra jingle in your pocket, you may be looking, what is the best way to spend that? And maybe you're looking at wheels or some accessories, stuff like that. But a lot of times guys ask us, hey man, what are the best mud tires that I can get for about $1,000? I'm Dustin with the Custom Offsets. You can find me at dusty.co on Instagram. And rumor has it that we're gonna be doing a truck build soon. And today we're gonna be sitting down and going over our top five picks for mud tires under a thousand bucks. Let's get it. So before we get into it, I do have a couple of disclaimers. First of all, in today's list, we're gonna be looking at either 33 or 35 12 and a half R20s. Now I know that this price fluctuates quite a bit. Obviously 37s are quite a bit more than a 31, but for standard comparison's sake, we wanted to look at that. Also, it's important to note that we're comparing pricing as of today, which is sometime late December of 2020. If you come back to this video in 2021, pricing could change. That's the way tire markets work. All right, so let's get into it. Up first, we're gonna be looking at a 35, 12 and a half R20 Kanadi Mudhog. Now, Kanadi is a newer tire in the market, but they've kind of came in and taken it by storm. The Mudhog features large lugs and deep voids in the true mud terrain fashion through the center tread patch and even out into the outside lugs. Again, with lots of void in there, it's gonna be great for cleaning out mud or rocks or other debris that you might find otherwise sticking in your tires if you find yourself on a gravel road, for example. In addition to clearing out mud and rocks, these large voids are also super helpful for draining out water and keeping grip when you're in wet conditions. Best part about these is a set of 35, 12 and a half R20s. It's gonna set you back just over 900 bucks. So really a pretty good buy for the dollars. In the number two spot, which was also the number four spot, I guess, because my notes are wrong. Anyway, is the Ironman All Country MT. Again, here we're looking at a 35, 12 and a half R20 tire. Iron Man says, and I quote, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. Seriously, that's what their website says. I, I'm not making this up. <laughs> so Iron Man actually says that this tire is designed with detours in mind. And they did that by giving it enhanced puncture resistance, which handles off-road use pretty well. It's also a pretty aggressive tire. And on top of that, if it didn't have enough bite for you, as they say, the Ironman All Country MT is actually studdable. So that means that it comes with little holes that you can put tire studs in. So if your mud terrain isn't aggressive enough, you can put steel studs in it. Yes, yes, studded mud tires. In overall terms of tread pattern, this Ironman tire is gonna have circular shaped blocks across the tire from the side lug through the center tread and over into the other side lug again. And it's overall gonna give you a really aggressive look. Again, best part about this tire is much like the Kanadi we just looked at, you can pick up a set of four of these for about $940, which makes them another really good buy. In the number three spot is none other than the Federal Explorer MT. Now again, with this one, we're looking at 35, 12 and a half R20s. This is actually a tire that we have personal experience with because Jerry's running them on his 1500. Federal says that this tire, quote, dominates all terrains, pushing you through gravel trails and muddy bogs with a ferocious look, exceptional traction, safety, and tranquility. Whatever that means. <laughs> The Fedra Explorer MT features an aggressive offset hook shaped tread pattern in the center and it's got these really sharp edges as it comes around. It's a really aggressive looking tire. It also features staggered shoulder blocks which are going to help give you traction again should you find yourself in less than ideal conditions. Overall it's a great tire. It does do wicked burnouts. Ask us how we know. It is a little loud for the tread pattern design but it's pretty price conscious and in true federal fashion, it's just overall a solid tire. A set of four of these is gonna set you back again at this time, just over 950 bucks, which also makes them a great buy. In our number four spot is the only 33 12 and a half R20 on this list, which is the Fury Country Hunter MT. Again, this is another tire that we've actually personally ran and you can find it right here. So it's on the K350. Uh, it features a staggered shoulder block design. It's got a 
thick old tread pattern in the middle, which is kind of a T-shape laid back and forth. And it is a non-directional tread pattern, which means that once you mount your wheels, you can actually flip flop them around and still be going the right direction. On top of that, the Fury Country Hunter MT features stone ejectors at wedge points, which basically means it's got these little things that pop stones out of the tires in case you find yourself, I don't know, doing donuts in the desert with your SEMA truck or something. Not that I know. A set of four 33 12 and a half R20s is gonna come in right at about $952. Again, a little smaller tire, but still a really good buy for those of you that are looking for something a little bit smaller sized. And last but not least is the one and only tried and true Federal Caraja MT. A set of 35 12 and a half R20s is what we're talking here. And while technically they are just over our budget at about $1,016, we couldn't make this list without the tire. I mean, the Caraja MT is a tried and true mud tire and it's pretty much the granddaddy of all mud tires on the market today. The Caraja MT is gonna feature an alternating symmetrical tread design and big siping for traction in all of the nasty stuff that you would want to take your Caraja's in either on or off the pavement. So there's our list of the top five mud grips for under a thousand bucks or I guess around a thousand bucks. Do you have any experience with these tires? Let us know down in the comments section below. Make sure to like, share and subscribe to the channel so we can keep making banging content like this one. And don't forget if you need wheels, tires or suspension, you can find that at customassets.com. Peace.